In those days, uh, women were confined in a parlor, really, as far as the professional aspect. And uh, this was really a, a breakthrough in this state, in Connecticut, because uh, this was the first old girls band, the Novelty Syncopators. And, um, you know, it's been documented. Walter Winchell mentioned it. Al Gentile talked about it, different people. Uh, and even Rudy Valley's agent came and heard my mother and liked her and wanted to take her to New York. Uh, it, was, it was a big deal back then in the 30s, you know, so that was something that was before my time. But it's an interesting bit of history. When she was a young, very young, my grandparents bought, grandfather and grandmother bought a player piano when she started. She was interested in the role. She learned Italian that way, and, and she'd stay for hours practicing, and, and she loved it. When she wasn't in school, she had her schoolwork done, and she'd practice, you know. That was, that was her, her desire. And also, you know, she wanted a pair of roller skates when she was young, and her grandmother, my, my grandmother wouldn't get her for her for maybe financial reasons. And she sang at a bricklayer's uh, party, and they passed a hat, and she had enough money to, to buy the skates, so that was cool. So that's probably what got her going, you know, with the singing. So I think that uh, definitely didn't hurt her uh, desire to sing, you know, she loved it.